Hey there, it's Geo Dave. Today we're going to discuss the differences in Chip's challenge between Lynx, which was really made for, and Microsoft version port of it. First session is going to be on the what we call the wall hugging monsters, the Paramecia and the African bugs or bees. The easiest way to show this is to walk through playing level 137, also known as Gold Key. So I'll start that up. As you notice, first I have to avoid a whole lot of Paramecia. Walk around them, and then wait for this bug to go by. Go get the first key. There's five keys in this first section. In this particular level, there's a lot of keys. You have to avoid that bug. And you can get this key, and this key, and this key, but you have to wait. You need five. There's four. Use up those four. There's one more key you need. You need two keys to get to the next section. This is one of them. You have to have this. You have to wait till the bugs bunch together. And one goes in a circle. They bounce, and then you lose a circle. You have time to get by the other one. That's the only way through there, because bugs don't bind fire. And you go through the slide walks here, the force field, force floors rather. There's your second key that you need to get through. So grab both keys, and you see there's a bunch of uh, paramecia over here. Push the block in the way, and they can't move. There's a bunch of keys over here. You need two of them. Most of them lead to a dead end where you're stuck. So this is, I got one. The second key, I have to wait for these paramecia to get them out of my way. Yeah, it takes quite a while, and then eventually they'll give me a room, and then I have to go this way because I can't go backwards. The exit actually on the upper right to the next section. So go back through this again. I've now got two yellow keys, so now I can go, if I remember where the exit is, <laughs> I can go to the upper right and get through to the next section. There's the two keys, and then it, this is a little tricky. These fireballs move kind of odd. I guess they're predictable, but the first time I died because I was paying attention. Get through these balls and those balls. You need to go through the water. You need two more keys now. You need this key. Plus there's one key back in the middle section that you need in order to get back to the end again. You can't go back. You need this other key that's back here first. There's that key. Now that you have that key, you go through a different way to get to the same door. You use one key here and the last key will be for the exit which you can get to fairly easily. One of these blue walls is actually fake. You wait for the fireball. It's this one, and then you just go ahead of the fireballs through the door, and you're done. And that's pretty straightforward. Now we'll walk through the Microsoft port of this. We'll see, first of all, that the Paramecia move in a different pattern, so you have to move differently through this section. I don't have to wait for the first bug because the two bugs clump together right there. So it becomes much faster to just avoid the two bugs together. That has to do with the way of movements are done, are figured in Microsoft versus Lynx. Same number of keys. Keys work the same. Force floors work the same. Blue walls work the same. But you'll see up above there aren't any paramecia. There were a whole bunch in the Lynx version. That's because all this paramecia died in the fire, so this becomes much simpler. You simply go through each of the sections, and it's the same. So that's the main difference between the two, and for paramecia and for African bugs. Keep an eye out for part two.